is that uh, you never get taken away from your name, <laughs> and it comes with a check with a whole bunch of zeros, about half a million dollars. So that's a, what was it, half or six? Uh, half a million. Half a million dollars just to go fishing for the weekend, not so bad. So don't feel bad that he spent $700 on tackle since he got out here this weekend. Okay? <laughs> Or more, I haven't rung it up yet. We haven't rung it up yet, but there's baskets in Rick's office that just said Randall, Randall, Randall. They're just stacking up <laughs> in there. Uh, really cool to meet him, really cool to hang out with him out here. Uh, you guys are, uh, I see he rigged up the flipping stick to talk a little bit about flipping the pitching, I think, today as well. So uh, please welcome Randall Clark, guys. Hey, guys. Th thanks for coming to listen to me speak. Um, you know, I, I did a seminar yesterday. I don't know how many of you were in it, but uh, I started getting a lot of questions about, about this particular pole right here, something called flipping and pitching. And uh, it's something that I fell in love with in the early stages of my fishing career. And it's something that I, it's been a huge part of my success. Um, I really worked hard to kind of lear learn everything about it that I could. Um, I'm still learning today. I'm always trying out new hooks, new lines, new rods, reels. You know, and, and, and it changes. This whole sport changes very rapidly, so it's a, it's a vital if I'm gonna, you know, continue to do what I do, and 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 hopefully, you know, I want to be the best flipper in this war in the country, and and, and you know, it's it's vital that that I stay on top of that. But uh, I'm gonna go into real detail today for, from from my rods, reels, lines, different techniques, different baits, uh, you know, and share with you guys, you know, some of the little tricks and and some of my beliefs about it now. Now you can, you can talk to Denny Brower, you can talk to Tommy Biffle, Andy Morgan, a lot of the great flippers in the world. There's gonna be a lot of similarities. There's gonna be a few differences. Um, you know, all I'm gonna give you is, is, is what I believe. Um, and, and if at any time you, get, you guys get lost, you're not sure about what I'm telling you, um, just, just raise your hand and ask a question and I'll try to answer it. But like I said, I'll start out with the, with the equipment and go in, go in the, every aspect of what I do with a flipping stick and and uh, how many how many of you guys I mean like to catch a bass <laughs> all of you are bass fishermen right all right well how many of you like to catch big ones yeah I'd rather catch one big one than five little ones at the end of the day I only need five there's not a better way in my opinion and especially you know with what I do traveling around the country to catch big bass with a flipping stick I mean you put the odds in your favor I mean, yeah, you can catch a big one on a spinning rod. I mean, you can, you, can, you can catch a big one a lot of ways, but day in and day out, the flipping stick, for me, is the best way to get the job done. So, uh, let's see. All right, there's, there's a huge misconception, and, and you're gonna hear me call it flipping a bunch. I actually don't flip, but probably 10 or 15 times an entire season. What you see most guys do on tour now that we refer to as flipping is actually pitching. And I don't really want to focus on flipping and I'll, tell, I'll, I'll demonstrate what a flip is, but it's just when you draw a line from, from the reel and you make a little underhand pitch like that. And, and the only time I utilize that is when I get my boat so screwed up and out of position I don't want to hit my trolling motor. But I, I, I really think years ago that's how this technique, and I think it originated here in California by a guy named D. Thomas, I think he was one of the great original flippers, and I think at the time the equipment was so, I wanted, it was kind of sucky really, to be honest. I mean, that was the most effective way to get the job done. But what I utilize way more than a flip is, is the pitch. And a pitch is simply an underhanded cast like that. And I can, I can do that relatively close to the boat, but it's not as efficient as a flip like that seems to be more accurate the reason I like pitching better is quite simply I can stay further away from the fish and I don't care if the water's dirty or if it's gin clear I think your odds are better if they don't know you're around so obviously the further the cast you can make the less likely I'm in a 21 foot boat like you know this size boat you know a bass is in a foot or two of water or 10 feet of water I can promise you they know you're there I mean, there is no way, even if you don't hit the troll motor at all, they know you're there. But, but being, a, you know, being very quiet, a stealthy entry with your bait is something that I strive for with every single flip. And I, I think that's a huge you know, key to, to this, this technique being successful. But that, that's a pitch. That's what we're going to be talking about. 
and, and, and as far as demonstrating the technique, it can be done with a quarter ounce weight all the way up. This is an ounce and a half sinker. Simply, I, I get the bait about a, even with the reel to about a foot above the reel. I start with the rod tip high and you just let the bait pendulum out and I control the distance with my, with my right thumb with tension on the spool. Equipment. This is very, very important. I don't think you're going to be an efficient flipper if you got like a seven foot rod. I'm mean, not saying there's guys that flip with a seven foot rod. Brian Thrift, I've known if you guys heard his seminar today, he prefers a 6'8 for a lot of things. He likes a little shorter rod than me. Uh, for, for me, yeah, some shorter guys tend to like shorter rods. I don't know many really short guys that like a 7'11 flipping stick like I do. But uh, for, for me, I, I carry four different flipping sticks throughout the year. I carry two 7'6s, I carry two 7'11s. All of those have their own purpose. Like, I will start, it, we'll start with the 7.6s. I carry a 7.6 medium heavy halo flipping stick. I use that rod with uh, usually 12 to 16 pound fluorocarbon line and, and, and strictly with jigs and light tungsten weights. That's really my finesse flipping rig. It's probably the least used that I use all year, but if gin, clear water, a lake with not a lot of big fish, that's what I would use. The, uh, then I go to the 7.6 heavy, this is probably what I use 75% of the time. I mean, there's hardly a tournament that I fish all year that this, this rod's not on my deck. Um, it, for me, it's usually 16 to 20 pound line, you know, a high speed reel, jig, tube, crawl, you know, your basic flipping baits. And, and, and all, all the time with those two flipping sticks, for me, it's fluorocarbon line. I keep it really simple. The fluorocarbon for me is, is anytime I'm fishing, wood, docks, rocks, anything like that. The change comes when I start fishing grass, that's when I go to the 7-Elevens. Anytime I'm fishing any type of vegetation, any, anything green, you guys call them toolies, flat reeds, I drill a mill full. This is my favorite way to catch one. But, uh, but the 7-Eleven flipping sticks, I, I carry a 7-Eleven heavy. This is, I use the 7-Eleven heavy from a one ounce down to like a quarter ounce weight. Uh, Use, like I said, one ounce or less on the 7-Eleven Heavy. The 7-Eleven Extra Heavy, this is a rod you guys see me fishing at Okeechobee. It's, it's from one ounce all the way up to two and a half ounces. I, I use a two and a half ounce weight on occasion to get through something really nasty. But uh, that 7-Eleven Extra Heavy is, is, is a meat pole. It's, it's the biggest, baddest rod that I use and, and I've caught a lot of big fish, fish doing that. So. Uh, None of the flipping sticks I use are fast action rods. They're, they're, they're what they call a parabolic bend. This, this, this particular rod's not one that I use. This is a 7-Eleven rod, but this is a fairly fast action rod. I prefer a flipping stick that's gonna bend down here in the middle. And the reason is, is when I pitch that bait into a mat or bush or tree and that fish bites, I really like setting the hook. That's one of the things that I get out of fishing. And, and you know, everybody's hook set's different. You know, you guys can go buy the exact rods and reels that I use. I'm not saying they're the right rods for you. It's something, you know, if you got confidence in a PAL rod, this is a PAL rod, they make a good flipping stick. But, but you need to tailor made that rod to, to how you like to set the, if you've got a weak hook set, you would obviously want a faster action rod. If you've got a really strong hook set, you would want a rod that's more forgiving. And the reason is, is you don't, when you set the hook hard, you don't want to get create slack in the line, you, and, and you don't want to jerk that fish out of the water. If, it's a, if you pitch in a mat and it's a two pounder and you jerk slack in your line, you create an opportunity for him to come off. So, so matching the rod to your particular fishing style is huge. So, so I'm giving you my setups. You know, those four rods is, is what I use, but, uh, but really spend some time to find out the right flipping stick for you.